This is Dr. Richard Harding. Thank you for watching this short video on performance of an ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration of a prominent left thyroid nodule. When a nodule is over 1.5 centimeters indeterminate on ultrasound, problematic or palpable, we'd like to obtain cells for review by cytopathologists to help determine the anticipated behavior of this lesion. In this video, we do not edit out the needle puncture sites, so people might find this uncomfortable watching this part of the video. First, the patient is positioned with the head up and a pillow placed under her back to intentionally extend the neck. This brings the thyroid gland closer to the skin. After a quick ultrasound review, the nodule is targeted and buffered 1% lidocaine is used for local anesthesia at the skin entrance site. After allowing for the local anesthesia to work, a 25 gauge needle for fine needle aspiration is placed under ultrasound guidance directly into the middle of the intended thyroid nodule. We can watch this under ultrasound guidance to view the exact placement of the needle tip. Gentle vibration motions are performed to increase the cellular harvest uh, so that we have enough tissue for examination. The needles themselves are very small and the cells are brought up into this needle with capillary action. This is repeated four times in order to obtain enough cells, during which time we are ensuring the patient's comfort and watching the exact location of each needle placement. Off the field, the tissue in the needle is being suspended in the cytolite solution or the reagent specific for the genetic testing. The procedure is very quick, takes a few minutes, and you can see the patient is very comfortable. Once the last biopsy is performed, then gentle pressure is held on the neck, and we review the anatomy once again. In this particular instance, I also review the patient's anatomy on both the left and the right side to ensure that there is no further areas that we want to study or biopsy. Again, the anatomy is reviewed once again, and we see a normal thyroid without any fluid around the thyroid to indicate any bleeding from the procedure itself. Bleeding is exceptionally rare and this procedure does not affect the thyroid function uh, for that day. And the patients will be relatively asymptomatic afterwards, although some patients will take Tylenol or Advil for comfort. Ice packs are sometimes helpful for comfort once the procedure is done, but most people just take a simple Band-Aid and wear that for another 10 minutes and then we're done. Thank you very much.